Thank you for coming up here and sharing your incredible testimony. Can you tell us your name and where you are from? So my name is Nelia. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, Nelia. And tell us, what, uh, why did you come here for, uh, last year in the summer 2018 internship? So uh, last summer before I came here, I kind of was uh, experiencing like, like a stagnant like relationship with God. Like I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't doing anything. I'm like, God, you're not visible in my life. Like, uh, I kind of want, like, a touch from you. And, like, little did I know, God had way more in store. Come on. Now, tell us, when you came here to the internship, there was a problem that you were facing internally. Can you tell us a little bit of when it started, what was happening with your life, and the freedom that you received through the internship? Uh, So, for about three years, I was uh, being oppressed by a spirit of depression. And so my daily life would look like I'd go to school, I was a good student, but I'd come home and I would sleep all day, I'd watch movies, I was like a couch potato, I wouldn't do anything. And I would have like a really hard time sleeping at night. Uh, It got to the point where I'd get like one hour of sleep or it would take me three hours to fall asleep. And it was was just like, it was like I was being tormented at night. And... um, The reason why this uh, depression was, like, afflicting me was because I had a best friend. Uh, I grew up with this best friend. Like, she was so dear to my heart. Uh, But there was a situation where uh, she betrayed me, and I was was so hurt. And it was like, how could somebody who loves me so much hurt me so much? Mm -hmm. And so it kind of just got to the point where I, like... I literally just fell off the map. I would stop talking to people. I would isolate myself. I'd go to school, and I just had this, like, expression. Like, it was so sad. Like, I didn't care. I didn't want to do anything. Like, I just, I didn't feel like living my best life. Wow. Now, tell us, when did you realize that you were actually having a depression problem? When did it, you recognize, wow, this is a problem? What happened? Uh, so we were in class during the summer internship, and... We actually had a lesson, we had like a week-long lesson about deliverance. And so we were naming off the like symptoms and characteristics, and I was able to check off each one of them. And at that point, I was like, God, I have a problem. (laughs) So you realized you had your problem, and tell us uh, what happened. How did you receive your freedom, and what does it look like now? Uh, So we had a prayer line, and um, I was getting prayed for, and... um, like, uh, during the prayer line, I received my uh, freedom from that uh, spirit of depression. Yes. Amen. Come on. And so my old life, it looked like it was sad. It was, it, it didn't even look like it was worth living. But now it's like, it's like I have a new identity. I'm so happy. Like, it's like I have a, a choice to be happy now. Like, sadness isn't my identity. Come on. And how do you sleep now? I sleep so good right now. <laughs> like, like, it takes me, like, I fall asleep like that. So I feel great. You guys, I, I'm a personal witness to this, is that uh, when she was here in 2018, you could tell her countenance just by looking at her that there was this grieving sadness about her. And I'm telling you that when she came back for the second round and I see her just smiling and just, like, just full of bliss, and I said, I'm like, there is, you are definitely different. And I am a witness, and many of you guys are witnesses to that too, how God has truly impacted her and has set her free. And she's here for the second round. Now tell us, why are you here again? So actually, since last summer, like, I had this desire. Like, it was like, like God put it there. I just had this desire to come again and just, like, devote more time to God. And um, honestly, you can never go wrong with investing more time into God. That's right. Amen. Yes, amen. That's right. Come on. You know, the... You know, the dedication of coming here and spending your time and really digging your roots deep into God and your relationship with God is that is just going to be a multitude of fruits in your life. Come on. And where this smile is going to change and impact lives. Come on. Amen. That is powerful, you guys. That is powerful. That is true freedom that we can experience with Christ. Now, tell us, what would be your word of advice for someone that wants to sign up for internship or, uh, you know, is contemplating to encourage maybe their children to come on to the internship? What would be your word of encouragement for them? 
honestly, if you're debating between going or not going, go for it. Like, take that risk. Like, living that Christian life is all about risks. Like, just do it. Like, invest more time in God. Like, just do it. Come on. Amen. Thank you so much. What a beautiful testimony. Amen. Were you guys blessed by that? Amen. It's, it's also to recognize that maybe you were living a basic life where she just went in and out of her day, where she just saw that it was just a sadness, not realizing what that, that spirit actually took over, where she was causing her to be isolated, where it caused her to have sadness and grievance and not enjoy the life that God has given us, right, to live that abundant life. And the truth was right in front of her. That veil was torn off, and she said, wow, I want to live on the other side. I want to live a life of joy. I want to live a life that God has for me and now she is and I'm, like I said I'm a true witness to that seeing her it's literally day and night difference where she's completely happy and full of joy it's a beautiful thing amen